This poem is called Agra Road. Agra is where the uh, Taj Mahal is. Do you seek in the heart-shaped palace the cold telos of love the guide asked us? Everyone nodded yes. I stared out the bus window into the face of a ripe monkey whose owner demanded 40 rupees for any photographs I took. Is there nothing willing to forgive the terror of its cost? Beyond the jade gate, a lotus pillar nods to a braided fort. To enter in this colloquy, you must take off your shoes, and when you do, it is 1653, the year of the diamond moon. Mughals rule the candied land. Alligators bask on the soft edge of the Yamuna. But in the iron sky, the ivory birds are still the birds. This poem is entitled, Hitting the Wall. I hadn't seen her since Carver was president. Everything about her had turned white, even her beauty marks. I faced her strangeness and fumbled for the past. The time we went crabbing on the Chesapeake, her imitation of Barbara Mandrell, playing long guards at my mom's. I tried to talk, but only whispers slithered out. She pretended to understand what I was saying, and then said, wasn't it fungible to have run across each other? Fungible, I questioned. She slapped me hard. Then her perfume returned with a vengeance. <laughs> This one is called, uh, wait for it, Here's Looking at Euclid. <laughs> He's looking at Euclid, but he can't concentrate. The noise of Bakerfield cicadas is invading his ears. He's looking at Euclid, but he can't concentrate. Hoboken memories are marching into his mind. He's looking at Euclid, but he can't concentrate. Far east and east is stuck between his teeth. He's looking at Euclid, but he can't concentrate. The elevated smell of Delphi is seeping into his nose. He's looking at Euclid, but he can't concentrate. A Catalan fishing boat is sailing into his eyes. He's looking at Euclid. Meanwhile, the sandstorm of time keeps polishing the geometry of space. Thank you very much.